Today on Plugin Friday, I'm going to show you how you can stream high quality audio in real time in any DAW using only this one plugin. Hey, what's going on, my friend? The Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, before we jump in, subscribe, click notification bell, share, and like if you enjoy this video. All right, so now let's jump into it. I have a very cool plugin to share with you and to talk to you about. That is a plugin that I use on a regular basis when, especially when I do some mixing revisions with a client, and it is an amazing tool. And this one is called Listen To by Audio Movers. My good friend Ian Shepard did a video on that uh, maybe back in March and uh, when I checked this video I was like huh that's interesting because I heard of this plugin before and I also tried it uh, maybe a year and a half ago and uh, back then it didn't work well for me um, you know it wasn't that stable but now um, I did give it another shot and I was like super impressed blown away <laughs> to be honest with you that plugin works like a charm. Um, so I'm gonna show you a few things here. I'm gonna show you how I use this plugin, but first let's go straight to the Audio Movers website. I'm gonna leave the link down below. So this is what we have on the website. Listen to, stream in real time, high quality, low latency audio from your DAW. If you wanna try it out, you can download it for free for one full week. And if you wanna, uh, if you wanna purchase uh, the plugin, actually it's a subscription. Okay, so you cannot purchase the plugin, but you can subscribe to the service. And the cool thing is that they have um, three different tiers um, of a subscription. So there's the one week that you can uh, that you can purchase for $4 uh, uh, a week, which is very, very cheap. So this is practical if you're not planning on using this plugin uh, on a regular basis. So if you only want to use it for that one album you're producing or that one session that you want to collaborate with someone, um, now you can use it for only one week at a real cheap price. And there's also the one month subscription at $9.99 and the full year subscription for 100 bucks. So it is a reasonable price, uh, but I'm telling you, it does work very well, especially if you're doing a lot of collaboration and uh, mix, uh, mix revisions and stuff like that. It is a very cool tool. Okay, now in Cubase, uh, this is what I have. I inserted my listen to plugin in the control room where I have my Sonarworks a reference uh, for plugins and all sorts of uh, reference plugins. Uh, if you don't have the, um, the control room, what you can do is to insert the listen to plugin straight on your master bus, but make sure it's the last plugin inserted in the chain. Okay, this is something very important because what the signal you want to send to your, uh, your collaborator or client if you're sending a mix, is gonna to have to be the full processed signal. And that's why you're gonna to have to insert that plugin last in the chain. Uh, so in my case, it is uh, going straight uh, into the control room. So this way I am 100% sure that I'm sending what I am hearing here in my studio. Uh, then, I'm gonna open the plugin and this is what we get. Okay, so first uh, what you need to do is to create yourself an account uh, and then you click on log in. Uh, then uh, what you'll have here is a session name that you, uh, you're gonna to have to, uh, to create. That can be anything you want. Um, so I just typed in a Chris Mix and that is gonna be good enough. Then you have the copy link. Because uh, once you create yourself a session name, uh, Listen To is going to generate a link for the, your client or friend or collaborator to connect through a web browser. So it's that simple. So there's nothing for, uh, the, for the collaborator to download. It's only a straight link to be pasted uh, on a web browser. So I'm going to copy that link for now. Then what we have, we have the quality. And this is where this plugin shines. Um, we can stream a quality of 24 bit if you want to and even up to 32 bits which is great so if you have a good internet connection i would suggest you to uh you know to to stream high quality audio uh, but there's also the option to uh, to go a bit lower in quality if your connection is not that good uh, but in my case i do stream at 24 bit and it works very well then you have the client's limit uh, this is good if you're doing a uh, more of an educational uh, session you can uh, limit that to you know um, the, the amount of users you want uh, and then you will see the 
amount of uh, uh, the amount of clients connected to your session. Uh, then there's the latency that we are going to look at uh, uh, later on. When I just stream the a mix for a client, uh, just to do a mix revision, if I'm not uh, screen sharing uh, through Zoom or Skype, uh, the latency um, is okay the way it is right now by default. Then when I'm done, I'm going to click on Start Transmission. Now let's go on a web browser and open a new window. Now I am the client. In case I'm going to open the uh, new uh, browser page, I'm going to paste the link that I copied over. And then this is what the client or your friend or collaborator is going to end up on. And there you go. The only thing he's going to need to do at this point is to click on Start Listening. That simple. And now you're ready to stream your mix to your client, friend, or collaborator. So let's go back straight in Cubase. Uh, I'm making sure that my transmission is started. I'm going to put on my headphones. And I'm going to start to stream. So this is the signal that I'm hearing here in the studio. Now let's jump on what the client is hearing. As you can tell, the sound quality is pretty much the same, which makes this tool very useful as far as I'm concerned. Um, so like I said before, I do uh, work with it, especially when sharing a mix to a client or to a friend uh, for a mix critique or, uh, of course, a mix revision with, uh, with clients of mine. Um, and this is a very useful tool um, for me anyways. Uh, now, um, if you want to use this with Zoom, okay, let, let's open Zoom. And there's something cool that can be done. And my friend Ian also uh, made the demonstration on his video. I'm going to link his video on top if you want to watch it. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to open Zoom briefly and... Um, I think I have one session open. Okay, so uh, something you need to pay attention to if you want to share screen your uh, Cubase session uh, with uh, a friend of yours or um, if you want to take control over a Cubase session of someone and that person is sending you a feed and you're the one uh, listening to um, uh, through a web browser but you want to control the Cubase session of your friend, that can be done with Zoom because Zoom will allow you to remote control the other person's computer. Um, in this case, you will need to, to have the same latency with Zoom and listen to. And to do so, what you need is to click on settings in Zoom and uh, you go to statistics and you will have the screen sharing tab right on top. And you will see, you know, once you're connected with your friend, collaborator, or client, you will get some numbers here. You will have a latency value that is gonna be, that is gonna show. And uh, you, you're, you're gonna get, you're gonna take that uh, value and uh, you're gonna go back into Cubase and straight to the listen to plugin and you will adjust the latency, you know, to the closest value as what you get in Zoom. And you're going to be pretty much, uh, pretty much set up to share screen and uh, share your mix at the same time with your client, and everything is going to be pretty much in sync. I tried this with uh, by working with uh, WaveLab. I was uh, making a DDP for a client, um, so a DDP of several songs all together to be sent for a CD replication, and. Um, that's how, how I did it. I inserted uh, on the output in uh, WaveLab uh, audio movers listened to, and I opened up Zoom and made sure that the latency was uh, close enough and it worked pretty well. So this is something that can be done. Now you are probably gonna ask me, is it possible to record, to do a recording session with listen to? It is possible. And if you're interested on knowing more about that, if I have a lot of demand, I can make a specific video on that if you want to. Um, in my opinion, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to remote recording, 
VST Connect is the way to go uh, for my needs anyways. You know, if I want to record uh, multi-track uh, sessions and stuff like that, you know, even for a single session, for me, it's way easier to uh, to use VST Connect. Uh, if you want to know more about that, I made a video, a full uh, video uh, using VST Connect and uh, on a online recording session. So I'm going to leave the link on top uh, if you want to watch it. But yes, it is possible to record because uh, if we... Um, Look at the um, uh, the audio movers plugins that are installed. Once you install the uh, the plugin, uh, we have the regular plugin like you uh, you just saw, and we also have the receiver plugin, and this is uh, going to allow you to do some remote recording. And again, if you want me to make a video on how to uh, to set up a recording session with Listen to. Uh, let me know in the comment section and I'll get right to it. All right, my friends, this is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, share and like. And also, if you're new here on the channel, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, go and check out the Audio Movers website. The link is down below and try it out for a week and let me know what you think down in the comment section. Until next time, take care and see you.